Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Anne Shin from The Family China, published by Brick Books in 2013. Uh, Brick Books, if you're not familiar with it, is a very well-known and well-established and very highly respected um, press here in Canada. Um, I'm trying to do a little bit better of featuring some, uh, well, more Canadian content. Uh, now that I've moved back to Canada, it feels only right to, to celebrate some Canadian poets as well. Uh, so the poem I'm going to read is actually part of this collection, The Family China, which is in turn broken up into a series of lyric sequences. The sequences are titled, but the individual, um, parts, uh, the components of the sequence are not titled. They're just lyric passages that proceed forward in some sort of loose organization. Um, so I'm going to read a few of these from the first sequence. The, the first sequence is entitled Forgotten Fields. Pressing sponges to the wall as water dripped from elbows, they gift wrapped the insides of a farmhouse gone to bush. We weren't allowed in till moving day. Then we ran through the rooms like it was Christmas. A plastic wrapped window bed, a warm spot by the wood stove. We claimed corners of the house with our dolls, our bodies knitting in with this place that so wanted kids. Trees sprouted apples, cherries dropped from heavy boughs. The farmhouse mellowed, ripened, held secrets so long, infinity bloomed as wind lifted the curtains, leaves dusted shadows across his face as fleeting as day, inchoate as as the night. My brother fell asleep with his heel banging the wall. Now wallpaper peels like petals drying on the stem. You can fit half a kid between the dark walls. The other half floats somewhere over the fields where dew dots long grass stalks and cows rub against the gate posts. Clean nicks, chapped lips, wet hair. Fingers flutter over the barbed wire fence where he fell, black stitches on cold white skin. Through the still water of a round glass vase, the yard primps perennials in pink and yellow, refulgent. They live again as they do each spring. A cow lumbers past, rubs the fence post again. A moth dusts my fingers and is gone. The earth's mantle folds, forming a skin over my brother's body, and I am wedged between wooden slats, not breathing. My mother washed the walls of that house with the assurance of those who see order in chaos. Doors flung wide to butterflies, trussing their beds outside among weeds. Tumbled hay bales, twisted apple trees. I never caught a butterfly all the summers we lived there, never tried enough afraid of crushed wings releasing orange-yellow dust into the night breeze. My mother's breath at my ear freed me into sleep, while luscious fields edging up to my window swished their long grasses onto my carpet. Slipping headlong, I slept like a riverbank, waves lapping against my velvet clay chest. Few words were spoken, even fewer remembered, for I'm still half submerged. The practiced hand of progress did its surgery on our village. Its skin raised concrete smooth, raspberry thickets, knotted roots and stones, peeled back like thick handfuls of scalp. The mind startles. A crop of beige houses sprouts up erect, the celebrated seeds of eugenic success, while weathered barns and wooden fences crumple under the seams of a yellow map. Its terra incognita glimmers in the dusk of our awareness. Now, no location is unknown, and the places we secretly inhaled like the scent of our bed pillows are lost in the static of an electric night. This is the sound of our propagation as we pillage ourselves in the darkness, scattered points of light. Meticulously ravenous, the plane erases all that I call my own. Forceps pull weight through customs of body, not mine, but an occup occupancy en route. 
pulls the seat up, remembers roaming the fields like a dog off the leash and huddling to pee under a giant hemlock as the carpool mum drove by, calling, calling. We were farm kids going nowhere. We have everywhere now, and it has us. The city's intersections dilate in the slick night. We course the dark streets in our father's cars along roads too narrow to contain our desire. Bass rhythms reverberate through double brick walls. Overshooting our mark, we topple hot dog carts on a taxi ride through midnight suburbs. Our parents' dreams a safe haven beside fields of transformers buzzing with febrile intensity. Children in their nightgowns stand waiting to sing as the song skips a generation. Roll me down the length of your long black driveway. Let's steal back what's ours from closed mouth houses where lights are left on, mail delivered, lawns mowed, while we're out on the hunt in dew wet fields hungry to find and twist open the seed of our own promise. We're not lost. We've just been looking away. Um, and that was, uh, that was part of uh, the sequence Forgotten Fields from The Family China by Anne Shin, uh, Brick Books, 2013. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, um, please, uh, well, check out the description of the video for more information about uh, the poet Anne Shin and where to purchase this book. Um, as well as information about this series, uh, the Hermit Poetry series that I run, uh, we've been, this is like, well, well, we're over 200 videos at this point. I think we're 211 today. And uh, it's a celebration of poetry. It's a celebration, uh, not only of poems that I own, books that I've acquired over the years, but um, also of other work that's out there that I get introduced to by you and by others. And so I'm always open to suggestions and always interested in hearing from you. If you have poets and poems that you would like to recommend, please feel free to comment below or send me an email directly and let me know about uh, what's out there that I should probably include. And I'll do my best to figure out where to fit it into the schedule. Um, if you're an author, a book, uh, if, you're, if you're a poet with a book out um, and you would like to be featured, uh, I'd love to hear from you and uh, love to figure out a way that we can find, you know, some, some way to, to feature your work on the series. Um, so I'm always open to that. Um, and in general, I guess this is about it for this episode. I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series, and I wish you all the very best uh, this, this weekend and uh, this summer. Um, I'll be continuing on every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon, you'll be notified every time there's a new video that's up. And uh, I'm always open... Well, I'd love to hear from you in general. Uh, so let me know if you're watching these videos and finding them entertaining, interesting, um, hopefully moving sometimes. Um, I, I, I find for myself it's inspiring to to step into the lives and into the into the words of others um, and try to find a way to occupy them, to inhabit them, to read them and deliver them in a way that that I hope is is paying honor and homage to, to the, to the original, uh, authors. So, um, that's, that's basically it for me this week. So until, uh, next time, uh, take care and, uh, keep reading and writing, keep, uh, creating, and I will do the same. I'll be back again very soon with more videos and more poetry and readings. And so until then, um, well, I'll just keep working on my stuff and you can work on your stuff and we'll be back again um, in no time. Um, well, I guess that's it. Um, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.